So China-based cloud and HPC systems provider Shanghai Tianshu Intellect Semiconductor has unveiled its first 7 nanometer Big Island GPU-based graphics card. Currently in mass production, the GPU is set to offer nearly twice the performance of the other mainstream offerings from competitors in half the die area with much lower power consumption to boot. Now during its board meeting, the founder of the company unveiled its Big Island GPU that features monolithic designs and the GPU is based on the TSMC 7 nanometer FinFET process node and has the 2.5D chip on wafer on substrate design considering it packs the GPU and DRAM on the same die and the GPU is made up of 24 billion transistors and features up to 37 T-flops of FP32, 147 T-flops of FP16 and BF16, 371 TOPS in 32 operations, as well as 147 TOPS in 16 and 295 TOPS of in 8 calculations per second. Now the exact core specs and clock speeds are unknown, but they should be unveiled as the launch closes in. Now for comparison, the AMD Instinct MI100 has a peak FP32 rate of 23.1 TFLOPs and a peak BFLOAT16 rate of 92.3 TFLOPs. The NVIDIA A100 GPU on the other hand has a peak FP32 rate of 19.5 TFLOPs with tensor cores pushing it to 156 TFLOPs and 312 TFLOPs with sparsity. Now the peak BFLOAT16 rate of the NVIDIA A100 GPU is rated at 312 TFLOPs and 624 TFLOPs with sparsity. As far as memory, the China Big Island GPU features 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory that operates up to 1.2 terabytes per second of bandwidth. The GPU also has PCIe Gen 4x16 interface, which has a bandwidth up to 64 gigabytes per second. As for the products themselves, the Big Island GPU will come in both PCIe and the OAM form factors. Now the China based company unveiled pictures of both designs and the GPU GPU based PCIe graphics card features a standard dual slot design with a large aluminum heatsink underneath the silver colored shroud. Now this comes with a passively cool design considering that will be integrated within servers and lots of active cooling. The card is powered by a single 8 pin connector and has a 300 watt TDP. The company also lists down 60 amp MOSFETs featured on the card and the OAM offering ships with standard mezzanine board form factor and the 2U rack shown as the OAM board features a massive aluminum heatsink with several copper heat pipes running through it. Now the company hasn't provided any exact shipping dates or pricing for its Big Island GPU, but it will be likely that it would launch sometime by the end of this year or early next year, given that it has already moved into mass production. And we expect more details from the chip maker in the coming weeks and months.